If you are thinking of booking a hotel room for your upcoming trip to Charleston or really anywhere, stop thinking and watch this video. <laughs> In this video, I am going to go over nine reasons you should book a vacation rental property like an Airbnb or a VRBO over a hotel. Now, full disclaimer, I am an Airbnb host. I've been doing it for years, so obviously I am going to be on the side of vacation rental properties, but just hear me out. I think by the end of this video, you will too. <laughs> I'm Baker Manning. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and also check out my website, bakermanning.com for more Charleston travel, adventure, and party content. And below I have included links to coupons for Airbnb if it's your first time booking and also all of the resources in this video, you can find links below. Let's get started. Reason number one, less exposure to COVID. Now, obviously, this is probably a huge factor for most people. Right now, we are in the midst of a global pandemic. And as far as we know, the main way that COVID-19 is spread is through person-to-person -person contact. So the less people you come into contact with, the less your chances of catching or spreading the virus will be. Now, in a vacation rental property, it's very easy to control the number of people that you come into contact with. Whereas in a hotel, it is definitely not. Most hotels will have hundreds or even thousands of guests per night and, of course, dozens of employees on site at any given time. Whereas a vacation rental property, the numbers will be limited to the people that you're traveling with. So if catching the coronavirus is not in your itinerary, a vacation rental property is the way to go. Reason number two, cost and savings. According to this handy dandy little infographic from Home Escape, most vacation rentals offer bigger space at lower prices while hotels in downtown Charleston get more expensive with bigger groups. Six people can comfortably sleep in a spacious 1300 square foot vacation rental in downtown Charleston for the average cost of $25 per person per night on Airbnb. The average price for a hotel in downtown Charleston is $299 per night. You will definitely sleep tight in a hotel if you squeeze six people into one tiny room. Not to mention, you'll be paying twice the price. Finally, most Charleston SC Airbnbs and vacation rentals come equipped with a full kitchen, so you can save a lot of money by not having to eat out for every meal. Reason number three is space and square footage. The average size of a vacation rental home is 2,000 square feet versus the average size of a hotel room which is 400 square feet. You can easily find Charleston SC vacation rentals and Airbnbs that offer multiple bedrooms, living areas, and outdoor spaces so you can spread out and max and relax. With all of this extra space, think of all the activities that you and your crew can do. Here in Charleston, there are all types of activities, classes, and workshops that are happy to come to you if you prefer. In this video, I did a diva dance party delivery for this group of bachelorettes at their Airbnb in downtown Charleston. They had the perfect place and plenty of space for a little dance party, although I don't see it working out so well in a hotel. Reason number four is culture, variety, and personality. Most vacation rental properties located in downtown Charleston have a rich history and unique style. There may even be the added bonus of strange and explicable noises or even a few ghosts haunting the place. Most hotels in downtown Charleston are endless duplicates of the same cookie cutter mold with a handful of variations in size. Don't get me wrong, there are some beautiful and historic boutique hotels in downtown Charleston. However, they're minorities compared to the ever-growing big hotel chains that are beginning to dominate the Charleston skyline and block the views of Charleston's iconic church steeples and bell towers. If you want to stay somewhere that's truly unique and that you can only find in Charleston, book a vacation rental property or an Airbnb. Reason number five is privacy. Single hotel rooms don't offer much privacy from your fellow travelers. Then there's also the constant bombardment of housekeepers and room service knocking on doors throughout the hall all day, and occasionally noisy, rambunctious neighbors to add to the mix. And then again, your group might be those loud, rambunctious neighbors, in which case you may also be bombarded with less friendly knocks on the door. 
For a list of party-friendly Airbnbs in downtown Charleston, check the links below. Reason number six, amenities. Hotels in downtown Charleston tend to have pools, fitness centers, spas, room service, a concierge, and most of them are centrally located near the Historic District or King Street in Charleston. On the downside, most of these are not open 24 hours and you'll have to share them with all of the other guests. On the other hand, Charleston SC Airbnbs and rentals offer amenities such as full kitchens, porches, parking spots, entertainment centers, and other add-ins like fenced-in yards for pets or even private pools and hot tubs. Reason number seven is location and accessibility. As far as location goes, you can easily find Charleston vacation rentals that are located in the heart of the city and just as close to all of the action and attractions as most of the hotels. The eighth reason is you get bigger discounts for longer stays. A majority of Charleston SC Airbnb and VRBO rentals tend to give discounts if you book longer stays such as two weeks or even two months. Most hosts or property managers are happy to work out a deal with you, especially if you offer to book directly rather than through the platform, which adds extra fees to the total booking price on both ends. So be sure to reach out to your host and ask about this before booking. The ninth reason you should book with Airbnb or VRBO over a hotel is because you support your locals. In my opinion, this is the best reason of all. When you book a vacation rental property in Charleston, you're supporting real people, their families, and the local community. All right, you guys, so there goes nine reasons you should book an Airbnb or vacation rental property over a hotel. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the little like button and subscribe for good vibes and to be notified when I post more videos. Uh, also, as I mentioned, I myself am an Airbnb host and a lot of the videos in this video <laughs> were of local Airbnb. So check those out. I've included links below and also that $40 coupon for your first Airbnb booking. And finally, if you plan to travel to Charleston in summer or fall of 2020, you might want to check out the next video after this one. It is all about the uh, corona updates and some of the new rules and regulations that we have uh, begun enforcing here in Charleston, finally. <laughs> and these are definitely some crucial things you're going to want to know before you go to Charleston or any of the beaches near Charleston. So I hope to see you guys in Chucktown soon. Stay safe. Holla at your girl.